Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, Terran Scott's quick video on a trigonomic, trigonometric identity. That's just one tan of x plus or minus y, and go over a proof and basically prove this uh, set of identities. So for tan of x plus y, this equals a tan x plus tan y, one minus tan x tan y. But when we have tan x minus y. Then, then we get tan x minus tan y over one plus tan x tan y. So the only difference is when it's a plus, we get a plus on top, minus on bottom. When it's a minus, we get a minus on top, plus on bottom. Yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and solve for the proof. So proof right here. So first, what I'm going to do is recall. Yes. Yeah, so this is proof. So recall my earlier videos where I showed the trig identities for sine of x plus or minus y. And this equals to basically sine x cos y. And then we have plus or minus uh, cos x. And we just switch out sine y like that. And I like writing this notation, it just simplifies it. So if it's a plus, we add a plus. If it's a minus, we get a minus there. And again, the, the proof for this is in the video description below in my earlier video. I'll put links to that. Now for the cosine, so cos x plus or minus y, this equals to, uh, this was the difference as we just write cos x, cos y. Now we have a minus plus. So when it's a plus, we get a minus. When it's a minus, we get a plus like that. Then we switch this to sine x, sine y like that. Yeah, so thus what we get now is, now that we have those two, we know that, well, tan of x plus or minus y, this just equals two sine of x plus or minus y over you know, over cos. Because we know tan is just sine over cos. So now we have cos x over plus or minus y like that. And again, I like writing plus or minus. You could simplify it and do basically both sets of these equations at the same time, or both proofs at the same time. So now if we just plug those inside, we get, yes, yeah, so then we get tan of x plus or minus y equals to sine x uh, plus or minus y, which is going to be sine x cos y plus or minus, now we switch them, cos x sine y divided by the cos one, which is cos x cos y minus plus sine x sine y. So now that we have this, what we could do now is, well, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the same ratio. Just I'm going to divide both sides. I'm going to write this as 1 over cos x cos y. And the reason is so that we can start getting tans in all of these, so that we'll have a sine over cos, and then the cosines over cos will cancel out. So we're going to do this. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by, yeah, put that dot there. So top and bottom by the same ones, so we're not changing anything. Cos x, cos y, like that. Yeah, so we'll multiply both the top and bottom by the same number. So again, the ratio is just one, so it doesn't change the values of anything. So when we multiply it inside, we get equals to, now this part is going to be sine x. So I'll just move that to the right. So we have sine x, now that we have this cos x there divided by cos x, put this in here. And then we have this cos y over this cos y over there. And this cancels. And that just goes to 1. This part goes to, well, tan x. And then we have this plus or minus, so the same thing. Cos x now, there's going to be over a cos x. Now we have sine y, cos y there. So we have sine y, cos y. So again, this cancels us 1. This one, we get a uh, tan y. And then all divided by the, the bottom one, which is going to be the exact same thing. We're going to have cos x over cos x over cos x. This cancels. It's going to be 1 like that. And then we have a cos y over cos y over cos y. This simplifies to 1 again. So that's just be 1 times 1 is just 1. Now we have a minus. And then a plus, so minus plus sine x. Yes, yeah, so we have a sine x over cos x. 
like that. This is tan x. And then we have sine y over cos y. Sine y, cos y, and that's just tan y. So what we end up having is, well, this equals to tan of x times 1 is just, well, tan of x, plus or minus. Now we have 1 times sine y over cos y. That's just tan y, like that. Then divide this all out. We have a 1 times 1 is just 1. So 1 plus or minus, I mean minus plus. Now we have a sine x over cos x, tan x times it by sine y over cos y, tan y, like that. So this is our tan of x plus or minus y, like that. And we could circle it. And there's our answer right here. And you could see that when we add the plus, we get a plus and a minus, uh, exactly like here. When we add a plus, we get a plus and a minus. And then when we add a minus, you know, when we add a minus here, we get a minus, and then we get a minus and a plus like that. So minus like that, and you could see that. And you could see that over here. So we get a minus, we get a minus and a plus, and there is our proof. Yeah. So that yeah, that's basically it like that. And I like like writing it like this because it simplifies two equations into one. So anyway, that's all for today. Hope you followed along this quick. Uh, proof video for this trigonomic identity and I'm, again I'm gonna use it in my later video that's why I wanted to do this right now so anyways thanks for watching and like always you could download these exact notes and link below as well as viewing these in article format at steamit.com and follow me at MES anyways thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy 